Hello PTCB candidates, this is Zita Schmidt with another tutorial from PTCB Math Review. The topic is Basic Algebra Part 2. The following is an example of a linear equation with a single variable. 3x minus 10 equals 50. A linear equation means that the unknown x is x to the 1 power or x to the power of 1. On a side note, do you remember how to square a number? To raise a number to a certain power is the same as the following. 2 squared is 2 to the second power, which is equal to 2 times 2, and that is equal to 4. 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2 to 1, and equal to 2. The number 2 was not multiplied by itself because it says to the power of 1, which means it stays the same. Let's look at other examples. 3 to the 1 is equal to 3. This is a linear equation. 3 to the second power is equal to 3 times 3 equals 9. 3 to the third power is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. Don't worry, this will not be in your exam. I just want you to understand what we are talking about when we say a linear equation. Let's go back to linear equations. You are given the following equation to solve for x. 3x minus 10 is equal to 50. Step 1. Isolate the 3x by getting rid of minus 10. How do you get rid of minus 10? by adding 10 to both sides. So 3x minus 10 is equal to 50. Then you're going to add the 10, so you rewrite it as 3x minus 10 plus 10 is equal to 50 plus 10. Then you subtract the 10 from both sides and you get 3x is equal to 60. Why are we adding 10? Because the 10 is being subtracted from 3x and you need to do the opposite math operation to cancel the number out. The opposite math operation of subtraction is addition. Step 2. Isolate the x by dividing both sides by 3. 3x three is equal to 60. 3x divided by 3 is equal to 60 divided by 3. x is equal to 20. Why are we dividing by 3? Because the 3 is multiplying the x, and you need to do the opposite math operation to cancel the number out. The opposite math operation of multiplication is division. Let's solve another linear equation. 5 plus x minus 3 equals 12. Step 1. Isolate the x minus 3 because this is in parentheses and that extra number 5 you can subtract from both sides. So let's take a look at that. That's 5 plus x minus 3 minus 5 is equal to 12 minus 5. x minus 3 is equal to 7. Step 2. Isolate the x by adding 3 to both sides of the equation x minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 7 plus 3. So therefore, x is equal to 10. You now know how to transpose the numbers in order to isolate the x. So let's try a shortcut. Solve for x. 5x minus 4 times 10 is equal to 210. Step 1. Isolate 5x minus 4, which is what's in the parentheses, by moving 10 to the other side of the equation. Before moving it, what is the number 10 doing to 5x minus 4? It is multiplying, you're right. Since 10 is multiplying on the left side, it will divide on the right side. So 5x minus 4 times 10 is equal to 210. 5x minus 4 is equal to 210 divided by 10. 5x minus 4 is equal to 21. Step 2. Isolate 5x by moving 4 to the other side. Since 4 is subtracting from the left, it will add to the right. 
So 5x minus 4 is equal to 21. Moving the 4 to the other side, it's adding. So it's 5x equal to 21 plus 4. Then you have 5x is equal to 25. Step 3. Isolate x by moving the 5 to the right. Since 5 is multiplying on the right, it will divide on the left. So 5x is equal to 25. x is equal to 25 divided by 5. And you have x is equal to 5. Now that you know how to solve these types of algebraic equations, let's try a pharmacy problem. You are given the formula Fahrenheit is equal to 1.8 times degree centigrade plus 32. But the problem wants you to convert 10 degrees Fahrenheit to degree centigrade. How do you do this if you do not have the formula for degrees centigrade? Simple. You solve for the unknown. Step 1. What information were you given? The formula of degrees Fahrenheit equal to 1.8 times degree centigrade plus 32 and 10 degrees Fahrenheit. What are you asked to do? Convert 10 degrees Fahrenheit to degrees centigrade. Step 2. Rewrite the formula and replace degrees Fahrenheit with 10. So you have 1.8 times degrees centigrade plus 32 is equal to 10. Notice that all I did was move what was on the left-hand side to the right-hand side and vice versa. Step 3. Isolate what's in the parentheses, which is 1.8 times degree centigrade, by moving 32 to the right of the equation. Since 32 is adding on the left, it will subtract from the right. So you have what's in the parentheses, 1.8 times degree centigrade plus 32 is equal to 10. 1.8 times degree centigrade is equal to 10 minus 32, and then 1.8 times degree centigrade is equal to minus 22. Step 4. Isolate degrees centigrades by moving 1.8 to the right of the equation. Since 1.8 is multiplying on the left, it will divide on the right. 1.8 times degrees centigrades is equal to negative 22 or minus 22. Degree centigrade is equal to minus 22 divided by 1.8. So you have degree centigrade is equal to minus 22.22. So there you have it, my friends. I hope that this was helpful. As far as I am aware of, the second method you will hardly have to do. Actually, the only thing that you might use it for is for temperature conversion if you only memorize one of the formulas. I will cover the temperature conversion in another tutorial. So as it is right now, that's all I have for you. If you have any questions or if you have a special request, email me at ptcb underscore tutor at yahoo.com or send me a private message through my YouTube channel. Don't forget to rate my video with a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Good luck studying.